Hey yo, hey everyone, Andrew here, bringing you another video review, and today we're going to be doing a much requested review, uh, probably because it's from my thoughts on E3 video, and people tend to like that, surprisingly, but today we are going to be doing Assassin's Creed for the Xbox 360. Take a look at that cover. Now, Assassin's Creed was the first game I ever bought for the Xbox 360, and today in this review we're going to talk about the story, the gameplay, and whether or not you should get this game. Now, the story is unique, because it's not what you think it's going to be. It has a unique science fiction twist on it. Assassin's Creed is a game where you go around as an assassin in the old days and kill people. But you're not actually playing as the assassin in the old game. Or, well, you are, but the, the main character in this game is a character named Desmond. Desmond is actually in the future. Desmond is a part of a long line of assassins. And he's captured by a group of Templars. Now again, this is all said in the future. He looks up to this machine, and the Templars want something. They want to find something, and Desmond knows where that is. Because this machine is able to extract memories from your DNA. Yes, yeah, so it's a little science fiction-y, but it's kind of cool. And they use this machine to go into the past, into one of Desmond's ancestors named Altari, who you play as. And the majority of the game is just you playing as Altari as the memories of Desmond's ancestor. I know, it's kind of confusing, but it's kind of cool once you actually see it play out. Now, as Altair, you are pretty much the top assassin. However, you're a cocky little bastard in the beginning of the game, and you get stripped of your rank because you screw up. So now, to earn your place back as the top assassin, you have to go around and kill ten Templars. Um, it's your duty to do so. However, each time you kill one of these Templars, a little piece of the puzzle is laid down, and you find that maybe you're doing the wrong thing. Or maybe you're doing the right thing. You don't know. That's the basic story, and I don't want to reveal too much. On to the gameplay itself. Assassin's Creed does a very nice job with the gameplay and the game control. You can basically explore anywhere in this game. With just one button, you're able to climb, jump, explore this huge sandbox world. Now, while the main quest may be very linear, you have everywhere to explore, major cities to explore that are ridiculously huge. And again, you can do about anything from jumping, acrobatics, climbing, you know, it, th this has probably the best platforming I've ever seen on a game when it comes to jumping and all these different kind of acrobatics. In addition to that, the combat is actually unique too. You actually have to learn to block, parry, and strike correctly. You get a total of four weapons. The first weapon is your longsword, which is great for distance fighting. Then you have your dagger, which is great for short range fighting. You then have your throwing knives, which are great for a long distance assassination. And then your assassin uh, blade, which, uh, bring out Mr. Pointy, comes out from underneath your hand and you stab people with it. Great for assassinations is your key assassination tool. Kind of looks like the stakes that Angel uses in the Angel TV show, but it just comes up, goes in. Um, this game also relies not just on platforming and combat, also on stealth. Uh, the ability to pull off your assassinations without being seen. You can do so by uh, sneaking up behind people, uh, pretending to be a monk, or pushing people out of the way gently, or just sneak up behind someone without them noticing and assassinating them. Just boom, right in the back. Um, however, there is a chance that you could get caught by the soldiers. If so, there's many places that you could hide, and if you're successful, you can avoid them totally. Um, now, like I said, there's a lot to this game when it comes down to an open world. There's flags that you can collect, there's viewpoints that you can see, and there's many different side quests that you can do. Now, the one fault of this game is that the main quest, while well linear, the side missions for the main quest pretty much are the same. You either need to observe someone, beat the shit out of someone and get some information, or do something along those lines. That's probably the one downfall to this game. Well, that and the ending. See, the ending is a little bit anticlimactic. Well, it does a good job setting up for Assassin's Creed 2, it just is disappointing. So, on to the good, the bad, and whether or not you should get it. Uh, good. Uh, the story was unique, it had a nice twist, which was nice. In addition to that, the game controls was phenomenal. I love the game controls, I love climbing places, exploring, you could go about anywhere in this game. You're not limited to anything. 
The combat was nice, although it could be improved a little bit more, seeing that almost any combat situation can be used with your short sword, your dagger. Um, the long sword is basically useless once you learn how to master the short sword. But the combat could be improved a little bit more, but it's still pretty nice. Uh, the art is fantastic, the, the graphics, uh, everything looks beautiful, and everything plays as though it's kind of real worldish. You stab someone in the middle, everyone's going to come and look at that person. You hide, you blend in, everything works out well. You can create diversions in this game by assassinating someone that's just a common person, lure the guards over there, and then assassinate your real target. So there's a lot of complexity and depth to this game. Bad. Like I said, the side missions are all pretty much the same. Talk to someone, observe someone, beat the shit out of someone in order to find out where your assassination target is. It's all about the same. Um, in addition to that, the ending is a little lackluster, it's a little anticlimactic. While well, it does uh, fill up for the second game, it does set up for that, it really is kind of anticlimactic. On a whole, Assassin's Creed is an incredibly fun game. Now, I like to think Assassin's Creed, it does have its faults, but it presents itself very well. It, it shows off its good points more than its bad points. And on a whole, it's probably right now, and this is a pretty bold thing to say, but my favorite game to play on the 360. I like it more than the Mass Effect, and I like it more than Halo, and I do like it more than Bioshock. It's a fun game, and again, um, it has a lot of play value to it. Uh, it does need a little bit more replay value to it, but it does have a lot of value to the gameplay, and the gameplay is fun and solid, and I am ecstatic for Assassin's Creed 2. Which is a different assassin, it's not Altari, it's someone else in the Renaissance time, but Assassin's Creed 2 looks good and hopefully they improve on the faults that was in Assassin's Creed. But like I said, Assassin's Creed is a great game, you're going to get it for pretty cheap. Um, it's a good maybe 4 to 6 hours of gameplay if you go all the way through and you kind of just go straight to the main quest. And like I said, it's a game that has its faults, but it presents itself so well with its good points like the uh, platforming, or the fighting, or the stealth, that you really don't notice the bad points quite as much. So Assassin's Creed, I definitely recommend picking this up. With this said, this is Andrew, saying peace out for now.